Not long ago, the idea of creating your own virtual influencer sounded like something only tech companies with big budgets could pull off. But things have changed a lot. Right now, people are building their own AI influencers from their bedrooms, and some of them are gaining real followers faster than actual humans. But here's the thing. Most people who try to make one end up with random, inconsistent results. The character keeps changing faces, the style doesn't match, mm -hmm. and the whole thing just falls apart. That's the difference between an AI image and an AI influencer. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create one that actually looks consistent. Same face, same vibe, same energy across every image. And yes, you can do it completely for free. So, if you've ever thought about having your own digital model, virtual brand face, or even an AI version of yourself that could show up in different styles and scenes, this is where it all begins. So, all you have to do is to watch the video till the end as I guide you step by step. And as we get into the tutorial, like the video because it's free, and let's get started. All right, the first thing you need before you can create your AI influencer is a base image. In today's video tutorial, I'll be using this as my base image. You'll also need your own base image. And this can simply be a portrait image of the AI influencer you want to create, one that you'll use to generate consistent-looking images of that exact influencer. If you don't already have a base image, you'll first need a prompt to create one. You can easily use ChatGPT to help you with that. For example, you can come to ChatGPT and ask it to create a prompt for generating a portrait image of a female or male influencer. You can go as far as describing the age, nationality, hairstyle, hair color, and even eye color if you want your influencer to have a specific look. Just tell ChatGPT everything you want included and what you don't want, and it will generate a detailed prompt for you. Once it gives you the prompt, go through it, make sure everything looks good, and then you can move on to creating your base image. You can use any AI image generator you prefer, but I personally like using Whisk AI because it produces amazing, realistic images that don't look overly edited or plasticky. I avoid images that look too perfect, where you can't even see the skin texture or pores. Because if you start with that kind of base image, all your future generations will also look plasticky. So the tool you use really matters. There are many AI image generators out there, but Whisk AI is my favorite. To use Whisk AI, just go to the link in the description of this video. Click the link and it will take you to the Whisk AI website. Go ahead and sign up for an account, then click Enter Tool to open a new project. This is where you'll generate your base image. Make sure you're using the square ratio since you just need a clear portrait shot. Avoid blurry or low-quality images because that will affect your future results when generating more images of your AI influencer. So for my case, I already have a great-looking base image, which I'll go ahead and use to generate more images of this AI influencer. Once you've created your base image in Whisk AI, Go back to the same process. Open Whisk AI again, click Enter Tool, and open a new project. Don't use the same project you use to create your base image. Open a fresh project to start generating your AI influencer's images. Now, on Whisk AI, in your new project, open the left panel and under the subject section, upload your base image. That's your reference image, the influencer you want to create more images of. Once it's uploaded, Whisk AI will analyze the image. After that's done, make sure the box right here is checked. Then close the panel so you have more space to work in the middle area. Next, you're going to add your prompt. This is where you describe the clothing, the scene or location, and the pose or posture. That's basically what your prompt should include. If you don't know what to write, you can go to ChatGPT and ask it to generate prompts describing different outfits, scenes, and poses. This will give you a list of creative ideas you can use for your AI influencer, depending on the style or aesthetic you're going for. This is also where you can change the aspect ratio. You can use square, portrait, or landscape, depending on the platform where you'll upload your images. For my case, I'll be using the square ratio for demonstration in this video, but you can choose whichever fits your needs. Now, before generating your images, make sure to turn on precise reference. This will help you get consistent images of your AI influencer. If you turn it off, you'll get more creative but less consistent results. This process also integrates Nano Banana, which is what Whisk AI uses in the background to generate these consistent results. So in this method, we'll be using Whisk AI powered by Nano Banana to create
create our influencer images, not Google AI Studio. Now, I'll go ahead and create the first round of images. I'll click Generate, and here are the results. It gives you two images per generation round. As you can see, these look exactly like the base image I uploaded earlier. Let me download these images so we can take a closer look and compare them with the base image. This is the first image we got, and this is the second one. They both look amazing. Whisk AI has done such a great job creating realistic, consistent images. When comparing them with the base image, you can clearly see that it's the same influencer, very consistent and natural. But it's too early to conclude, so let's go ahead and generate more images and see if the consistency continues. Before generating the second round, you'll need to come over to the seed number section. Lock that seed number and don't just leave it there. Note it down somewhere or take a screenshot so you can use it later to generate more images of the same influencer. Next, change your prompt. Describe a different outfit, pose and scene, and click generate again. Here are the results for the second round, and it's still the same consistent looking AI influencer. Now let's try for the third round, and again, the results look perfect. Still the same person, still consistent. Let's do it one more time for the fourth round, and as you can see, the results remain consistent. Whisk AI really delivers here. After generating several rounds of images, you can see it continues producing the same consistent influencer every time. That's exactly what you want, because consistency is everything when it comes to building an AI influencer brand. Now that we've created consistent images, let's move on to the next fun part, editing or adding details to your images directly in Whisk AI. If you didn't know, you can make changes like adjusting clothing colors, adding new characters, or modifying poses. Let's try a few examples. For this first example, I'll use this image and change her pose. I'll type a simple prompt like, change the pose to a cute one, and click generate. Here's the result. It changed her pose while keeping the same face, outfit, and background intact. It looks so natural and realistic that you wouldn't even think it was generated again. Now for another example, I'll change the color of her wrap dress. I'll type, change the color of the wrap dress to light pink, and click generate. Look at that. It did exactly what I requested. Everything else stayed the same. The pose, the facial features, the background. Whisk AI understood the task perfectly. Next, let's try something fun. I'll ask Whisk AI to add her younger brother posing beside her. Here's the result. And wow, it looks amazing. It understood the mood perfectly and even matched the style of the original image. And the best part? Whisk AI gives you two images to choose from each time. In the second photo, she slightly changed her pose, but it still looks like a real, candid moment. You won't even think it an AI-generated image. It hasn't changed her background, clothes, or face, but it has just added exactly what we asked for. Now for another example. I'll request Whisk AI to add two lady friends posing cutely for the photo, then click generate. And here's the result. This is so amazing. And I'm honestly so happy that everything is going so well in this tutorial because I'm trying to show you that by using Whisk AI, you can do so much with it and even start building your own AI influencer today if you want to. These images look incredible. It understood the mood perfectly. Each lady has a mini handbag and the way they're dressed just fits the overall vibe of the image so naturally. Even their poses look so cute and realistic that you can't believe this was AI generated. I truly love the results I've gotten here, and I'm really impressed with the work Whisk AI is doing. This is exactly how you can start building your own AI influencer brand, just like other creators who are already doing it and making money using AI influencers. So, what makes you think you can't do it too? You absolutely can. And on that note, I'm also showing you how to use AI avatars to monetize and make money from them. That's why I'm creating a video course that will be coming out soon. I've already opened a waitlist for anyone who'd like to join. The spots are limited, so this is your chance to get in early. Before it officially launches, the waitlist members will enjoy special benefits such as early access and exclusive early bird pricing, available only to those who join the waitlist. Once the course launches, the price will go up, so joining now gives you that early advantage. To join, simply click the first link in the description of this video. It will take you directly to the waitlist sign-up page. Also, a big thank you to everyone who has already joined the waitlist. I truly appreciate each and every one of you for taking this opportunity and being part of this journey. Now, let me show you something different you can do here on Whisk AI. I want us to make our AI influencer wear this cap. It's just an image of a cap that I downloaded. So, for example, 
If you want to make your AI influencer wear something specific, here's how to do it. Go to the left panel again and add another subject. Under the subject section, upload the image of the item, in this case, the cap. Make sure that the cap image is checked. Then select the photo where you want the influencer to wear the cap. I'll use this image because I want her to have the same style as before. Next, I'll copy the exact same prompt I used to generate this image and paste it into the prompt box. Then, I'll modify it by adding the phrase and the cap in the second image under the clothing description. Once that's added, I'll click Generate to see the result. And here it is. It has actually made her wear the exact same cap I uploaded under the subject that turned out so well. It perfectly placed the cap on her just as I wanted. So, if you want your AI influencer to wear a specific outfit, simply upload that item under the subject section, make sure it's checked, and then generate your image. Whisk AI will use that information to include those clothing details accurately in the new image. This technique is so useful if you're marketing a product. For instance, a cap, t-shirt, hoodie, dress, jumpsuit, sunglasses, watch, earrings, or handbag. Whatever it is, just include it clearly in your prompt. So Whisk AI understands that you want it incorporated into the image. Even if we download and zoom into the image, you'll see that it's exactly the same cap we wanted her to wear. That's how powerful Whisk AI has become. The integration of Nano Banana makes it one of the most advanced and impressive AI tools I've used so far. As long as you provide a clear prompt, lock your seed number, use a high-quality base image, or upload clear images, you'll always get accurate and realistic results that match your request. So, that's how you can even use Whisk AI to market your products or create stunning branded visuals. And it's also a great way to start earning from your AI influencer. I hope this has helped you understand how to take things a step further and create more specific professional images for your projects. If this video was helpful, then click that like button and don't forget to join the waitlist. You can also check out my other tutorials on AI influencers and AI avatars to learn more about how to create your own and get started on this exciting journey. So thank you so much for sticking around until the end of this video and I hope to see you in this next video.